Hello educators and welcome to lesson 4, whiteboard.chat. In this lesson, we will be taking a look at the collaborative features of whiteboard.chat and the interactive tools that make it such a popular app. During this lesson, Chris will demonstrate how to share a whiteboard with students to unlock the collaborative features. Then he will take you on a tour of the features, but not all of them since there are so many. But don't worry, we will have plenty of resources for you at the end of the lesson. Next, Chris will show you how to share files and documents with students so you can work on them together. Then, we will take a look at the dashboard for monitoring and keeping track of student participation. And finally, we will be including a YouTube playlist for you to take a deeper dive into whiteboard.chat as well as a list of tools we have put together for specific content areas to make them easier to find and use. And now we will turn it back over to Chris to take us through our lesson. Thanks, Alex. We'll now take a look at our lesson on whiteboard.chat. Whiteboard.chat is an impressive online digital collaboration tool that has so many features. In fact, they have over 100 features built into the tool. However, we won't be covering all of them in this lesson, and Alex will have some additional resources for you to review after the lesson. Let's take a look at how to launch it. I've saved an icon on my desktop for whiteboard.chat, and that'll launch Chrome browser. And once, once we launch whiteboard.chat, we can log in and manage our boards. So let's get started. Let's take a look at what whiteboard.chat has to offer us. It's a fantastic tool for interacting with the LG Create Board, student devices, my own device, uh, in a real-time synchronous environment. What I like most about it is that I do have all sorts of ways to have students interact on it. So let's first look at how to invite any student to the board or others to the board. So if I click invite, I can have students join by QR code. I could copy this link and paste it into Canvas or Schoology or whatever learning uh, management system I'm using to share and disseminate information with my students. I can have them join via classroom code, very similar to the LG Create Board or other platforms that use a similar uh, type of login, or I can also email the invite link directly to Google Classroom if I'm using Google Classroom. Okay, and then uh, once I have students in here, there's a couple of things I can do to make their experience a little bit better. So when I go into settings, I can actually set it to where students see simple tools. Or I can set it to very simple tools where they can only draw, erase, or move, or add text. So in the beginning, as I'm scaffolding my students' learning experience on whiteboard.chat, this is maybe something that I do, depending on their comfort level with new technologies. Uh, students are very quick learners. Um, however, sometimes they do get overwhelmed and excited by all of the features that are built into something. Um, and it takes uh, away from the lesson, so it's a little distracting. So part of what I like to do is I like to scaffold their experience. So I may start with very, very simple tools and then work my way up from there, depending on their age level. Um, I can also set it to only logged in users can join the board. Now, uh, there is a way to roster with whiteboard chat, uh, dot chat. There are all sorts of tools. There's an administrative guide that uh, that I would recommend you refer to or your IT director look at um, so that students can automatically log in directly through Google Classroom. Okay, so once I've saved that, let's take a look at what we're looking at. You'll notice there's a lot of similarities to various Google Workspace tools or others that you may have already used or already currently using. So we have our standard uh, devices up here. So we have our pen. Uh, we have a highlighter, we have text, and so we can change our font size. We can change the size of our pen thickness. This works really well with the LG Create Board uh, in terms of drawing directly on the screen. And 
Here's an example. Click my drawing tools. And I can write really quickly with my stylus or with my finger, uh, depending on how I want to do it. Um, there are text choices here that we can utilize. Uh, there is the uh, help functionality where students can raise their hand when we are working on our boards together. Um, and there are also the ability to set a timer uh, for students at any time. So if I wanna say we're gonna work for two minutes, I'm setting that timer for two minutes and my students are go and they get notified. Okay, so looking at the other things, we have our drawing tools, we have lines, we have arrows, curves, shapes, all sorts of great resources here. There's a magic draw function that uses machine learning. Um, that's a novelty feature, honestly, uh, but it's something you may have some fun with. And then we have our write functionality. And so when we look at whiteboard.chat, I won't spend too much time on these. I just want you to know they're there. And if this subject uh, area speaks to you, then definitely explore it. There is um, uh, handwriting. And so this allows me to test something out. So here, let's see what it does when I spell this. Look, oops, slow. There we go. And we can convert it directly into text. And so that's using machine learning as well. Um, we have a math editor and a math editor allows us to do math directly in the screen. We have an equation solver. Uh, there's speech to text, and that is really great for our diverse learners. And then very similar to Google Jamboard, we have post-it notes. And so you can add post-it notes directly on our screen. So then when we look at other tools, uh, obviously we can erase our boards. Oops, let's refresh that page. Uh, we can erase the whole board where we can white it out. And now when we want to upload files, we can do things from our computer. We can add files from Google Drive and it will import them as images. We can upload various PDFs, other sorts of things. Okay, let's turn our timer off there. Okay. Uh, we can upload photos, auto or video, or we can scan from a phone. So if you want to use a phone scanner. Okay, so then the other thing that we that are built in there, and the, again, there's a variety of tools, we will not explore all of them. Just want you to know that they're there to collaborate with your students. We have grids. Uh, we have math cards, we have math facts. And so we can have students practice math facts. That's a generator. And there is, what's another one? Uh, time machine, that's the revision history. Okay, so then when we look at the rest of the things, we can pan and what you'll see here, I'm about to show you the more tools. Okay, and then over here, we have objects. And so we can upload things. There are gizmos, there's manipulative. So we've got our base 10 blocks, all sorts of resources that we are built into here. Uh, we've got a spinner for student names. So I can add all my students' names there. I can spotlight them spotlight the page. There are all sorts of great little resources in here that I encourage you to explore. Again, there's other other fun things. And then there are widgets, there's links, there's add AI images. So it's going to basically do a machine learning type image search. There's a chat GPT assistant built into this. I wouldn't say it's uh, all that great, but it is improving. There's a clock, there's a compass, all sorts of built in resources. So another great resource to interact with our LG create board and have students collaborating. And what you'll notice here is we have all sorts of boards. 
So as I assign students into a uh, whiteboard, I can have them, let's just draw a little bit on this one right here as an illustrative point. This is Mia's page. Okay. If I go into grid view, I can actually see Mia's page. And so I go here and I can showcase it. That would bring it up. I can join it and actually interact with Mia on that board. And there are, as I add more and more boards, I can see a grid view and I can scroll through it. It's great for watching students learning in real time, demonstrating and making their, their thinking visible, um, but also as a fantastic formative assessment as my students are interacting on this. I can have this on my create board. I can have this on my computer and I can be floating and supporting them throughout the classroom. As we've seen, Whiteboard.chat has so many great features and functionalities that I bet you can't wait to explore them in your classroom on your Create Board. I'm going to pass it over to Alex now, who has additional resources for you and a teacher guide that will really help you dive into the more uh, deeper details and resources that are built into Whiteboard.chat. Thanks, Chris. And as promised, here are some resources for you. First, if you would like some additional training on whiteboard.chat, head on over to their website where they have a lot of literature to help you out. If you are more of a visual learner and would like to do a deeper dive into whiteboard.chat, we have put together a YouTube playlist for you to explore. Finally, because there are so many tools on whiteboard.chat, we have put together a list of 10 tools for each core content area that we think could come in handy. We hope you had fun learning about whiteboard.chat. We will see you in the next lesson.